Welcome back to Rogue Galaxy. We're still in Juraika. This is the first world that we we crash landed on. And we're about to go to the like watery waterfall area that we've been to already last stream. But um, you know, we weren't really supposed to. <laughs> That's why I'm back here. Oh, there's a rainbow. Oh, is it is what what are, afraid, is there like a a ritual? Not, not me. A tradi a, a tradition? Well, look, I am. Am I gonna meet the star god? Ugh. Star god. Right. You've been chosen. You get to be right next to the star god. I know, but when I'm with him, does that mean I won't um, see you anymore? Is she gonna kill this child? Hello? Villagers, you think? Look at that. Two broads. Not bad, huh? Tell me, Jaster, which one's more you? Sir! There's a child in there. There's one of them is a child, you pervert. Yeah, get him, girl. What the hell? Those two look like Burkakwa tribesmen. They might attack if they know we're outsiders. They don't look like the type to Not the immediate. What do you know about the Burkakwa anyway? Listen. Not the immediate male bullshit. Back in the days. These Burkakwa creeps. First day. Oh, you're Who's you're. Uh oh. Not him spread. calling anyone, literally anyone, a creep. Oh, work. Wait. Let us explain. We come in peace. Do we? Because you're a perv. She should shoot you right in the dick. That's just my opinion. <laughs> That's just my humble little We're opinion. Sorry. We didn't mean to spy on you. You're from Burkakwa Village, right? We'd like to go there ourselves, but the gatekeepers turned us away and we can't get in. The gatekeepers are what gatekeeping. Do you there? Our ship's broken down, and we need fire fruit to fix it. We were hoping that maybe we could get some in the village. Um, uh, you know, what was that? Uh, find out where we could gather them ourselves. Not the tentacles. Run Not away. the tentacles. What is this game? What is what is currently going on in this day? Girl. <laughs> Not this. <laughs> not absolutely not this. Mud whopper, whooper. Um. Oh, that that's traumatizing right there. What do we mean? Do we have to? Not this stranger being more willing. To save her than this perv. Oh. Maybe I get out of the water. Oh shit, both of them are fucking dead. Okay, first of all, I have to heal. Damn. That's both. Oh shit. That's both of my resurrections. They they literally can't die again. How about y'all get out of there? Oh great. Now I'm going to run out of healing items. Oh. 
Oh, shit. Um, can y'all get out of the water? I literally have no way to revive her. Or him. That's, no, that's fine. Surely it will be fine if I just sit, if I just stay here. Surely, surely it will be all good. Yeah, that's the the problem was literally not. Yeah, the problem was literally in the water. <laughs> not the AI just like fully staying in the water. Being like, what? Why would I leave? I'm only being electrocuted. <gasps> no. Not the thing reaching its limit. Can I like... Oh, I can pick it up. Oh, work. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Can they like get revived? Oh, okay, that's fine. I didn't. I didn't need to do that anyway. Um. Yeah, that's totally cool. Oh shit. I wonder if I would have to be faster. Like every time they would trigger that, I would have to tell them to like stand back or something. You know. Ow. Ow. Okay, this is not... This is not good. Oh, I wonder, can I switch weapons? Can I... Can I switch to a different gun, maybe? Will that work? Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. Um, let me try... Let me try this gun. Since the other, it doesn't work. Oh, no. Not my sub-weapon. Not my other sub-weapon reaching its limit. <laughs> not this. Okay, that no that's fine. We can we can still do this, I think. No, that's like totally fine. Like honestly don't even worry about it. Oh shit. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> I guess once they start electrocuting, you can't really... There's not really much you can do. Okay. No, that's fine. <laughs> no, that's totally fine. Um... Yeah, that's totally... That's cool. I totally prepared for that. Like, don't, don't even worry about it. <laughs> Honestly, it's fine. It's, um... It's great, honestly. Um, I I had this planned all along. That was just a test run. I was just, um, yeah. That was that was just uh, that was a prank. <laughs> you got pranked. Um, yep. I I know I know what I'm doing. <laughs> that was just a test, cause I. To totally know what I'm doing. Yup, yup. That's uh, yup. That I. That's me. <laughs> that's totally me. Um. That's uh, we're doing great. Um. Okay. Maybe. Just maybe. Before I get into this battle. Perhaps it would be a great idea 
to go to a store. <laughs> Do I have any money? That's the that's the main thing. Okay, I have some money. Let's try that. Let's try Let's try getting some items first and foremost. And we'll uh we'll go from there, you know? We'll go from there. I forgot to tweet about this, by the way. So let me just uh, let me just quickly go on x.org and just quickly and quickly do a little posty post. Not very far, girly, because we just fucking died. But you know what? That's fine. That's totally fine. Because we can overcome adversity. And hey, we can... Uh, how long we, gotta stand around here? we can slay furthermore. Okay, pervert. How come you... Shut up. Not, not, not him giving me shit for standing there. Okay. So, resurrection. We have two. Maybe, you know, I need, more, like, three more. You know? And then maybe I have three of, of these. Maybe I should get, like, ten more. <laughs> I'll get twelve. Because it's always good to have... Uh, I love that the game just is like, yeah, yeah, you can, you can, you can go however, yeah, that's totally fine. Um, I think that's good. Um. Is this a weapon that I want? It does give me more power, but I don't think it's just it's good in general. But there, here's the thing. It probably is good in the sense of like... I, I maximized my skills with this one. So I feel like with the other, I feel like my weapons are going to go down in like skills but they may go up in like you know once they kind of max out then they may be better if that's how I'm understanding like this game how this game works nobody really taught me anything about how that works in the game so I'll try this. I'll get the Rock Crusher. Oh, wait. I have like 5,000. I thought for some reason I had like 500. But no, like I have 5,000 and something. Oh. Then I need to get way more items. <laughs> 15. Girl, let's get like 15 more. And then for Resurrections, we have five. Let's get, like, 15. So I have, like, 20. Oh, now that I'm rich, rich. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get her this. And we'll get him... We'll get him that. That's great. Let me equip these new weapons. Is this... I hope we, we can, like... Surely we're gonna be able to see the weapons, right? Like the new ones. I hopefully. It would be kind of sad if we didn't get to witness. Wait, but 
No, but it says the skills maxed out. I don't I don't think I understand. I don't think I fully understand this. Cause the way that I see it. Oh no, here you go. Like, okay, so I have like ten on the electricity charts, but this one I have eight, but I can upgrade further. And I think with him, I need more electricity because i that's the only type of ability that I have. I'm just going to equip the new shit. I'm just going to... I'm just going to equip the new shit. I'll worry about all that later, you know? I'll worry about all that later. Her weapon is so cute. Because surely there must be a good reason for for us to have all these like options, you know? We'll see. Hopefully, mm, hopefully it will be fine. Um, because I really don't know. Maybe I'll just tell them to like. Maybe I'll just get that strategy immediately going with like the stand back. And hopefully, people will just like use. Hopefully the AI will use their common sense. <laughs> I don't know if AI can have common sense. But you know. That's one thing that I'll learn. At least they'll be more on their defensive... Side, I guess. We'll see. <laughs> I just saw a post on Twitter about like... How you should rotate your save spots uh, whenever every time you save, and uh, that's a great idea in case something happens, in case something goes wrong. It's a good habit to have, so humid around here. you know. Uh, yeah, let's just skip. I think it's more helpful whenever people do recordings and stuff. Like because I stream, it's like I don't, I can't really lose the footage. Oh my god! I hope that... They're not really using their... <sighs> this is not gonna work. Okay, I'll just get them to I'll just get them to fight. Because I don't really see any other way this is going to work out well. You know? Cuz if they never attack, then we're never going to get out of here. So I'm just gonna, I guess I'm just gonna have to like spam heal, you know? Every fucking time. <laughs> Every fucking time.
Okay, I can't reload anymore. Maybe I can just do like, um, maybe I'll just have to do step back whenever I see him, like, charge up his bullshit. Hold on, can I be the... Because I think she only... Wait, let me be him first. And, and get, and run out of his, like, um... I love that they can heal mid, like, suffering. <laughs> okay, everyone attack now. No, no. I don't think. Ooh, I don't know if the flash sword is gonna work well here. Oh, it is working. I just really went hyper focused there. Okay, heal everyone. You heal yourself. Uh, heal. Heal. Break throw. Oh, I haven't seen this animation yet. I don't quite know what that does. Okay, now that he's in the water, everyone step back. Okay, I reached my limit here. So I'm going to switch to her. Oh, get out of the water. Oh, her secondary is a melee. That's cute. I guess I can have them attack. Oh, I have to wait. Played. Okay, I should have just picked her the whole time and, and had them. If I didn't have any items, I could have just had everyone stand back while I did all the work as her. Because the bow and arrow really carried here. But we slayed. Oh, there's a little... A little a little pimple on his forehead. Same. The tongue wiggling around. Please. Save the girly. My god.
This new girly is kind of iconic, though. <laughs> I just got the new sword. I, I guess I can sell it. Unless anyone else can equip it. I doubt it. So I can probably sell the new sword I just got a double of. Oh, Miss Ma'am. She's not having a good day, girl. I'm gonna have nightmares about this. Oh, girl Lee. Uh, you you were protecting my sister. Thank you. Well, she got attacked. It's okay. It was a spur of the moment thing. Are you okay? Are you hurt at all? It's not like she jumped in front of the girlie or I'm something. Just she just literally got swooped herself. I'm Lilica. Lilica. I'm Kasala. Queen. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yes, same here. Huh? Miri's eyes. She was attacked by a beast long ago. Can I do it like an all girly team? I'm I'm down. The girlie's in jester, you know? Because I'm pretty sure he can't be interchanged. So there's no need to tread lightly around her. You said you wanted to go to Burkakwa village, right? Oh, uh, yes. Well, we just we just need the fruits, really, you know? We just need the fruits. Kindly to strangers there. Be careful. Really? Thank you so much. Is she gonna give us like a little ticket, a little pass? See you later. A little lanyard we can put on <laughs> around our neck. Seems that Burkak was full of beautiful women. Shut up, perv. <laughs> you pervy perv. The one time I can't name a character. Hey, wait up! What'd you say? Huh? I didn't say anything. But Girl, that was not her voice. No, no. Over here. Over here. Oh, it wasn't me. Over here. Look down. Down. Oh. This thing. Oh, you finally noticed. Now what is this? I'm Toad. I'm a Toad. Yeah, I live in. Hi Toad. Can you talk? Wow, you're real sharp. Happened all of a sudden too. Okay. Yeah, it must have rude. been because of that orange-colored goop. Orange-colored goop. Hmm. This must be the work of that rune. Rune speeds up the process of evolution and turns living things into beasts. You got that right. Ever since it fell from the sky, the jungle's been full of all kinds of weird stuff. My what buddy, rune. he got all huge and went kind of crazy. You know, the beast oh. that you defeated earlier. The, 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 your friend, but we hey, killed him. You know, I don't blame you for it. It's better this way. Work. If he'd survived, I... Oh, man. What a shame. Come on, let's leave this lump and be on our way. Not this lump. Oh, Hang on. Take me with you. Come on, guys. Don't be such a stick in the mud. Really Why would we take you? What did you say? Who'd want to live out their life in this swamp? Besides, if I stay here much longer, I might end up like one of them. <laughs> Is he going to be a party member? Yeah, scat. Not whoa, scat. Oh, hey, it's not like you don't stand to benefit. I can talk, right? But that's not the only thing that I can do. Okay. I also got this interesting new power. I bet it'll come in handy, my friends. What is this new power? Here, let me borrow these. Oh. What the? Uh. Huh? Oh. Huh? What? Um. What did you just do? I have the power to mix together the things that I eat. Oh. <laughs> it's like I can fuse together two different items. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. It sure is. Yeah, that's one word for it. I guess I don't need to sell that. If you bring me with you, I can combine the items you find and make cooler new items. I'm begging you. Let me come along. Sh uh. What do you think? All my friends turned into <laughs> monsters. The way he's like talking I'll be like all this. I'll by myself if I stay here. Please. 
Oh. I love that he didn't even ask the perv. He was like, you know what? I only need her opinion. Oh, you hate creepy things? Then why are you a creepy thing? Synth <laughs> That's a very flattering angle. Synthesizer Toady joins the group. I love that. You know what? Team Toady. I, Toady, shall explain weapon synthesis. Synthesis forges stronger weapons by mixing together similar kinds of weapons. However, I'll only eat weapons that have their skills set at max. They don't... They just don't taste right unless they've been properly seasoned through use. Different kind of weapons are also a no-go. They just don't taste good together. Uh, depending on the combination of weapons, an even more powerful weapon might emerge. The synthesis information you discover through an analysis will be recorded in the frog log. So it's... Okay, so now we have incentive to basically use... Uh, weapons that uh, maybe aren't as strong because then we can kind of mix them oh that i didn't mean i didn't mean his because now we have incentive to use like for example this or that you know what i mean because then we can uh, if we max them out we can just make better weapons out of it you know but at the same time i have a really good weapon right now so i kind of don't want to do that but i think i can do that maybe i can change weapons f during these sections where like there isn't like a boss fight so i can kind of justify that you know i might be able to mix up the guns Jaster's guns because it's already they're already maxed out I don't think anyone else has anything that we can yeah like mix up so I'll try that oh frog log wait um how do I Oh, it, it's probably at, like, a, um, a save point or something, I'm assuming. Probably can't just, like, synthesize whenever. The spring can wait. Let's go to the village. Let's try. No, it's not here. It's not the item storage either. Oh, I have to go in the... It's it's through the menu. It's, I guess he's a, an item? <laughs> oh, I guess he's just like an item. Yes. Take the guns. Now that's what I call Body nasty. arms. Okay. Um. I don't think there's anything else I can. I can do. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> that was interesting. Uh. No, no, let me arrange. Oh, no. Display equipment first. Okay, whatever. <laughs> let me see, though. I have a new a new gun. Oh, they're they, they're they're matching. Sixty four. Okay. We got ourselves a new boom boom gun. Cute. 
So we want to go near the village. Oh, I guess there wasn't like a safe point like at the village. So I guess we're just gonna have to like walk there. Yeah, okay. That works, that works. That's fine by me. I could use some time to, don't have anywhere else to go. improve my weapon. Let me jump on you. Can I jump on you? Let me jump on you. Nah, you don't need to do any abilities, girly. You don't need to all you don't need to do all that. Really don't think we should get involved. Oh, you say that now? Like, mama, we've been involved. Like <laughs> Like that's it's kind of what we're doing right now, you know? It's kind of our thing right now. We knew we were, gonna win. we're kind of in it right now. I've got a good Can I not go hurry. this way? Because the map is just kind of cut off on my end. So I wonder if there's just a dead end or something here. Oh, there's, there's just someone standing here. This is interesting. If I'm reading this properly, it says a savior will soon appear in the village. Oh, couldn't be me though, right? This is where our souls are laid to rest. Warriors lost to hunting or illness are buried here. Oh. Lately, there's been so many dead that we have no place to bury them. Oh, that's sad. Here they come. Come Not us fighting in the, in the graveyard. Can we just... Can we just... Can we just... <laughs> just wipe them out, girl. <laughs> just wipe them out, girly. You're the best at that. Have I been here before? I don't think so. I don't know why I just haven't. Ooh. Oh, two of them. Oh, two completely different things. Okay, cool. So I'll get that for myself. Desert Wind. Ooh, okay. And then I can get Drunken Burst for Zagram. Cute. What what does that do? The power of Grog increases all allies' attack power. Oh, oh, I like that. And what does the Desert Wind do? Stirs up a fierce, the fierce winds of the desert to attack all enemies. Ooh, I like that too. All right. Uh, let me get into his revelations. Let me get all in this gig. Perfect. I do like the revelation system in this, to be honest. It is cool. Like, whenever you get a new... Um, like, whenever you get a new... A new item... You always kind of, like... You get to wonder, like, Oh, what, what are they doing, you know? Or, or, like, what is this item going to do? It's kind of cool. Perfect. I never really get to do that, because apparently that's, like, locked in the boss fights. Let 
Oh, that's, that's like fine. Good thing I bought a shit ton of these. Oh, we can't do abilities because we're dazed. Oh, let me test the desert wind. Oh, that was cute. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I meant to pick the other option. One of them was fully on fire, and I was like, yeah, you don't need to put that out. That's fine. I think it was the pervert anyway, so, you know... It's fine. He can, he can kind of... We're gonna have trouble getting through here. He can be on fire for a little bit. And think about his Let's actions. Fruit, all right? Mama, I've been focused on the fire fruit. That's been our goal the whole time. You've been the one, in fact, um, focusing on, on the women. Ooh, really cool back there. And being a pervert. Their little healing animations, like, ooh, <laughs> ooh. Yo. guys were no challenge at all. All right, let's get in, let's get into this village. Those people are hard to get along with. We're gonna be like, Miss, your 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 friend. The one with the big fucking tits. She said we can get in. Mm -hmm. Yes, she did. Slayed. Ate them up on their own turf. Let's hurry. There may be more of them around. Oh, there will be more. Gonna take us a minute to get there, Miss Ma'am. We're almost there, though. <laughs> Actually, I'm wrong. We're almost there. I was like, this is taking a second. I hope there's some in the village. Yeah, let's hope there is some in the village. Let's kind of imagine we go through all of this, and they're like, um, we've never heard of that. I don't know what you're talking about. Hello, we're back. Oh, what in blazes? What's going on? <laughs> oh, what was that? The effect of the dark fruit again. The dark fruit. Bury him. Let's and he said again. You guys are outsiders, huh? I don't know what you want, but we're a little busy here, as you can see. Yeah, that's kind of more important than what we're going Dad, through. The chief wants to see you. I'll be right there. Look, I don't have time for you intruders. Go on. Get out of here. We we just need fruit. <laughs> we just want some fruit. Work. <laughs> we went through all of this just to be denied again. Can I not go in? I heard about you from Lilica. Go ahead, you may pass. <gasps> oh, but he said we should leave. Okay. We've already lost many warriors to the dark fruit. At this rate, we're going to see a repeat of what happened 10 years ago. Oh no, what happened 10 years ago? Finally, we can save here at the village. My god. <laughs> it only took us 17 years to get here, but you know, it's fine. It's all worth it in the end. 
I mean, it will be, I guess, if we get the fruits. Uh, wh where should I go first? I'll go, I'll go this way. I'll go up the staircase. Want to see? I, I want to see the view from from up here. This is so nice. Hello. Oh, that's there. You go. Hi. It's been ten years since the last ceremony. Now the time has come. Oh, the time for what? What is up here? Hello. There's another waterfall. The divine force of the star god is ahead. I cannot let you pass. Oh. The force of the star god. That's what they were talking about. Uh, that, that's what the, the girly was talking about with the girly. Hello. Did you see it? A huge ship crashed in the forest. Yeah, that's ours. Oh, he's been here before, but he's never set foot in the village. Interesting. Hello. Not me bursting through these people's home. This village is in for some rough times. You should leave now before you get dragged into everything. We're kind of stuck here, girl. We kind of don't have anywhere else to go. So, yeah. Oh, there's a chicken. Hello. <laughs> Not me expecting the chicken was going to say something. This is the home of Ugazi, the chief of Burkakwa. Be careful not to offend him. The villagers are in a gathering now. Outsiders are not welcome. Yeah, they're 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 kind of busy. No time to lose. Please, chief, you must decide. Not me being nosy. Not me listening in on their chat. This keeps up. We'll be wiped out. We'll have no choice but to turn to the Star God. We've already decided on a sacrifice. Why are you hesitating, Chief? This will save the village. I don't like the sacrifice part of it all. Listen, Chief. The dark fruit is increasing, even as we speak. The more you hesitate. I hate that we're gonna be like the white savior in this situation, you know. Wait. Maybe there's another way, another solution. What are you saying? Cran, I know how you feel about Miri. It's devastating to lose the one you love, but still. No, that's not it at all. To Don't lose the one you love. No kind of sacrifice can save our village. Can't you understand that? That's ch that's a child. The one you love. Uh, well, um, you know, one thing led to another, and we're here. That that's all. Oh, maybe maybe sh maybe they're related or something. I hope that's why you know. There's love there, like a, you know, he loves her, not in a creepy way. Is the purification complete? Yes. I present to you the sacrificial maiden. Not that. Mary. Well then, Chief. We Not the sacrifice. The sacrificial rite tomorrow morning. No. The only sacrifice I like is sacrifice no. by Burexa. Wait. It's too soon. At least wait until the next full moon. Impossible. We can't afford any more victims. Not us bumbling in here being like, um, there's another solution. We don't know what, but we'll figure something out. Don't get any smart ideas, Cran. You again? I thought I told you to get lost. I owe these people a favor, Cran. Permit them to stay. Lilica! Don't you care about all this? You put up your own sister as a sacrifice. Ooh. And it's all your fault, Miri's blind. <gasps> Damn. Uh, not him blaming her. Take care of your own sister. You're right. It's my fault. Damn. Uh, okay. 
No, looks like that's that creature's fault. Not not yours. Why you? How's that her fault? I don't get it. The day the light faded from Miri's eyes. I couldn't save our mother. What a horrible memory for Miri to bear. Then don't make her into a sacrifice. We can help her out of this. No, Cran, we can't. As warriors, it is our duty to protect the village. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> Fine warrior you've turned out to be. Damn, he keeps dragging her. You three. Don't do anything stupid. One false step and you're dead. Oh, okay. Um Did I hear that right? Miri's going to be sacrificed? Girl, mind your business. It's the only way. I mean, the sacrifice is a, is a bad thing, you know. Villagers touch it and get poisoned. We'll be wiped out for sure if this continues. We need the Star God's power to put things right again. It's our last hope. How terrible. Oh, great. Looks like we're gonna be stuck here for a while. Well, just keep your hands to yourself, perv, and we'll be fine. We get to stay in the village, nice Master, and quiet. You go see Miri? Yeah. She's at the Maiden Shrine, right? Which building is that, I wonder? Girl, they're a thousand percent not gonna mind their business. If that's one thing that uh, we're really good at, is not minding our business. I love he's gonna he's gonna cuss me out. Why doesn't anyone understand me? There's no point to a sacrifice. Girl, I get it. You're not planning on sticking your nose in, are you? No, I would never do that. I don't know what you're talking about. I would never not mind my business. Um anyway. <laughs> I will be right back, though. I'm going to take a short break, Yana. And, uh, yeah, when we return, uh, we're going to see what's happening, I guess. Uh, we already know what's happening, I guess. We're going to see if we can help Miri not get sacrificed. We'll see. Um, see you very shortly. These little breaks serve as ad breaks so that... They help me monetarily. They also make it so that there's no ads when people come into the stream for like an hour. So that's also good. Um, and yeah, I'll be right back with more Rogue Galaxy. Grab a snack, grab a drink, do what you got to do, and I'll see you very soon. Here we are back for some more Rogue Galaxy action. We're about to be very messy and <laughs> completely not mind our business. Uh, because we just can't help it, you know? We can't help but be nosy. That's one thing, that's one, actually one thing that I share with, uh, our protagonist here is that I am also very nosy. Honestly, I'm nosy, but, like, I would, I mind my business, you know? Like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna interfere with anyone's business unless, you know, they ask for my help or anything, I'm uh, I'm typically one to mind my business. How many times do I have to tell you? Sacrificing yourself is insane. Come on, don't do this. Miri. It's all right. As long as it'll help everyone, I'll be okay. Aww. 
Well, you literally won't be okay. <laughs> You literally won't, you, you, that's what kind of being a sacrifice is. Like, you're, you're not going to be okay. I have to, or Lilica will get in trouble. That's not true. Why would her, why, why would she get in trouble? I doesn't want you to do this either. I wonder. Mm-hmm. Take your time. No, it's fine. I can wait. Neri. Kisala? You're sure about this? How did she know? <laughs> uh huh. I'm okay with it. Neri. But. She's like, hmm, smelled like a nosy bitch came in through the door. Oh, drag her. She's like, that bitch can't even cook. The right venisons to use when she's hurt. I wonder if she'll be able without me. Oh. Lilica. Neary. We're fully minding. We're fully not gonna mind our miss. We're gonna totally get in their business and be like, "No, she can't die. We, you, you can't do this." Completely out of line. But you know what? In this one situation, I guess I can make an exception. I hope I'm wrong and it's the dude that kind of sticks up for them and is like, no, we're not going to do this. Absolutely now. not. We don't need to inflate the egos of our of our right? protagonists. Take care, Chief Mary. Take care, Chief. <laughs> I know that's not what she said. <laughs> But I kind of like that, like, the idea of, like, being very passive-aggressive about it. Like, yeah, Still thanks, Chief. You're a warrior. Have some pride. He's like, pride? I don't know her. We bequeath the maiden spirit to the altar of the star god. No, don't bequeath. Please don't queef her soul away from her. Wow, just top tier commentary here on my end. <laughs> Wait, stop right there. This is a holy rite of the Star God. Don't interfere. Lilica. We have no other choice. This is it. I really don't appreciate the portrayal of like, you know, this is very much like, oh, indigenous culture is weird. They do weird, you know, traditions. Ooh, so bad. And it's like, I, you know, I feel like we could have done without all of that, without us being like, you know, the foreigners, the white people coming in being like, this is this is wrong. Obviously, this is wrong, but it's like I kind of I don't appreciate the fact that it's like this. It's like, Man, why do I, have to get it, it's, I think it's once again kind of like a painting, like, indigenous folks as like, you know, as like, oh, they're bad because they don't, you know, they're, they want to, they don't want to share their culture and like, they don't, you know, they're rude to outsiders and like they for no reason they painted at. like you know like that's how they portray them like oh they're rude for no reason and like look at them sacrificing this little girl for like no reason like i kind of you know would it be too much to ask for like maybe we could help like maybe we could like come here maybe the story could be like we help them gather ingredients because the, the place is filled with beasts or and we can help them fight or um 
you know, it's something that doesn't really portray them as, like, you know, these people who, like, don't know what they're doing and they're mean and they're bad and look at, like, their culture is so bad, like, we need to help them from themselves. Like, I don't, I really, really don't appreciate that kind of, like, vibe that I'm getting. You know what I mean? And I know that you could argue that, like, oh, it's just a game, Ruby. It's just a game. But it's, like, honestly, shit like this. And I know that they're not actively trying to represent anyone's, like, culture in real life. But we all know what they're going for. And it's kind of, like, one of those things where, like, for people who never get exposed to, like different cultures and especially indigenous representation then it's like you know you see a combination of portrayals in media in different ways and things that are inspired by those cultures and stuff and then it, there's almost like a bias that gets created in your in your head right or it, it's almost like the lack of like actual information people will just replace that with like stuff that they see in like shows and movies and series um you know what i mean so it's that's why you know in in today's standards not enough companies still do this but the ones that do have consultants and stuff are like actively um and and it's not even a matter of like being like I guess, you know, it being, to me, being sensitive is a good thing, but for some people are like, oh, we're too sensitive nowadays. But it's like, no, it's just that we have, as a society, we haven't been sensitive enough this whole time to people's struggles and to the difference in people's cultures and stuff like that. It's like, uh, it's not that people are too... Uh, it's not that people are too... Um, sensitive it's just that society has been insensitive for too long and that needs to change because it's not okay but that's just my two cents you know it's already meh enough that in this situation we would be like the white savior Kind of like no matter what. So it would have been nice if this didn't come with like the extra side of like, you know, portraying this fictional indigenous culture as like super negative and stuff like that, you know? And I know it's just fictional, but everything in these games is inspired by something in real life it's not like they just randomly came up with you know everything in this game right it has a source anyway um i'm kind of lost <laughs> oh there's like a store what is this trespassers forbidden the beasts in the forest ahead are especially strong. I cannot let visitors pass. Oh, they're protecting us. How do I get to the store? The the one thing about the map is that it doesn't accurately represent like a uh, difference in altitude. <laughs> so it's almost like wait, where um where is that thing that I'm looking for? And it's like, oh, it's up here. Are you the store? You have to do this. No, you're just a, a, little, a, little, a little creature, a little chocobo ripoff, to be honest. Oh, hi. Have some good stuff. I'll be the judge of that. Not me. I had like 20 of these oh my god how many do i have i have like four. Oh my god five um can i get how many can i get i'll get like 15 wait no i'll get 
Um. I'll no, I'll get sixteen. So I get like so I have a total of like twenty. Um, I'll get one. Um, resurrections were good. Antidotes were good. We could get a couple more of these. Sanchez fruits, all this stuff. I will get like maybe one of each of these things. Just in case people need it. Oh no, it doesn't say anything, I guess. Um, because I guess typically you would get a thing that says like revelation on it. Oh, I can't get any of these new weapons and stuff. That's kind of unfortunate. I can't afford anything. <laughs> That's kind of unfortunate. That's okay. That's that's fine. <laughs> I always think the S is like save point, but I, I always have to remind myself that that is in fact not the case. I, I can't just leave those two behind. Is this the way to the I think I think there's nothing else we can really do here, so I think this is the way we need to go to the shrine, if I'm not mistaken. It is possible to be too kind, you know. Valley of Departure. Is this not it? I think it is. It would make sense, right? Valley of Departure, Human Sacrifice. I think that would that would add up. Hello. It is a great honor to be granted passage to the ground of the Star God. Oh, it's a chicken. Why can't they sacrifice a chicken? This problem is ours to solve. Do not in input input. I don't know how to pronounce that word on the ways of the Burkakwa. I I normally would agree, but the weirdos who were run out of the forest now live in the forest. Miri has already left the village. I hope she makes it to the altar to the altar. Alter, alter safely. Can't read to save my life. I didn't want to talk to you. From here, I can see what's going on in the forest. It seems like there's a rather large creature out there. Oh. Wait, oh, was this not where we needed to go? Okay, I'll take that. I don't like it when outsiders come to the village. People from the other planets always make fun of our traditions. See, that's why they don't let people in because pe everyone makes fun of them. As usual, there's nothing to really be on the lookout for. Okay, at least there's a safe point here and we can use it to transport to the other. <laughs> I'm not gonna save, I'm just gonna teleport. Not me thinking, I was so confident too. I was like, yeah, we're going the right way. Surely this is the right way. Nope. No, it, it surely was not, ma'am. Um, I think it's up here. Should be up here anyways. Yeah, 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 I think it's up here. Yeah, 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 because they wouldn't let us in last time through that. Uh... Oh, there you go. Path to the altar. This right. Yeah, this isn't right. <laughs> oh, man. Let's find a path to the altar. It's so interesting how some of these games were just... A lot of this stuff was so normalized. Like this type of writing, this type of like portrayal that uh it is possible to be too kind, you know. I feel like so many wouldn't bat an eye at it back then. 
and now it's just kind of like I'm so happy that now there's such a bigger awareness. You know? Come on, try me. You think I'm gonna go easy? Like one of these old films that I was watching for um from the series that I was kind of doing. I don't know if I'll finish that series to be honest. Um but that's like a whole other thing. Um but one of those films was The Red Shoes, uh, and it fully had just like a singular individual just casually doing blackface, um, performing in blackface at like a ballet thing. And it was just like one random like background character. There's re there was absolute like no need there was never any need for blackface um but like it, it it was just like so casually thrown in there and i was like actually like i was shocked i was like no like no i didn't just see that and i did i i did look it up and and on and also it wasn't just like a thing um that was like super easy to find when doing like a, a a google search either it wasn't like super hard to find either but i was i was kind of like oh damn like like it's really not a thing that's really like talked about I think oftentimes people, it's not that people are afraid, but like they don't wanna, it's like they don't, they don't wanna be like the one talking shit about like a classic or something like that. And it's like, it's a movie from the 40s, so I feel like it's not difficult to be like, yeah, this movie from the 40s is obviously outdated. Isn't that like really bad? Like without it being like, oh, we can't ever watch this and it's like oh uh, people immediately going to like oh you're you're trying to cancel that you're trying to cancel that and it's like it doesn't really it's not really all of that it's just a lot of times it's just people calling for there to be like awareness of like hey this isn't cool you know and it so easily gets turned into this whole thing of like you're trying to cancel everyone's trying to cancel every and it's like god Nobody really... <laughs> I don't really know anyone who's ever been like, Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cancel that. It's like people talk about cancel culture um, in its, you know, as whatever term that was coined. As this thing of like, almost like there's an organized movement of people being like, Oh yeah, what can we cancel next? When, like, literally the term canceling was just such a, like, casual thing, like... Of, like, oh, I'm not gonna listen to that artist anymore because they did a fucked up thing. You know what I mean? It's that And that was, like, the casual thing of, like, oh, I'm canceling that. You know, they're canceled to me. Like, that that was kind of the... The origin. And, uh, you know, as per usual, people just kind of took a term that, I'm, if I'm not mistaken... I looked into it at the time, um, was kind of coined in kind of, I think it was a black Twitter type of thing, or it was like a thing in black communities where that was the term that was used. And, you know, as per usual, white people kind of took over and, you know, made it into something else that now is kind of like, a, almost like a butt of the joke, like, oh, cancel culture. But that's the... Um, that is an immediate, like, red flag to me when people are, like, so wound up about, like, uh, cancel culture. Like, to me, that's just, like, such a red flag. It is possible to be too kind, you know. But anyway, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I got started with with that. Great. 
girlies. I don't even know what half of her things do. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, sure. You do that. I should probably change swords, huh? <laughs> Especially now that we're kind of moving into... Uh, now that we're kind of in a situation where we're like fighting a bunch of like enemies and stuff. I don't know. Potentially could be a... Could be a good idea. I didn't even have to do anything there. They really carried me. How nice. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Bad choice. Like, what do you mean? We kind of had no choice. I don't know how I got that. Every time healing potion is an option, I try to go for it. Oh, okay. He got, um... Zagram got his weapon all maxed out. Does he have another? Nope. Oh, we can mix them though, right? Um, items. We go to the frog. And then we combine. Give me something tasty. I got you. Where is it? Um. It's... No. Um... Where is it? Oh, it's here. Feed. I kind of wish it was easier to kind of tell like what were things that we could actively feed it. Ooh. Spectral Gleam, a favorite of Zegram's. Its greatest asset is its unusually sharp blade. All right. Is it automatically equipped? Yes, it is. Ooh, okay. Pretty. Can I use... Oh, yeah. Can I heal? Like, outside of a... Oh, wait. There's a save point nearby, so we... Don't really need... Hopefully, we're not gonna need to heal. Let's find a path to the altar. Although I think this might... No. This is not a dead end, I don't think. I wonder what the other path would take us to. Or where the other path would take us to. I don't know. We shall... Maybe we'll find out. <laughs> Maybe not. Since I'm already going this way, I'll just keep going, you know? Oh, there's a chest. There's two chests, in fact. This must be... No monkeys living here, that's for sure. Oh, wait, is this not the... The shrine? Oh, we... We didn't say that. Strange one too. I don't like. I might say he was probably banished from Burkakwa village. I really don't like that. Like, oh, he's strange too. The purple, the purple sword is really, really cute though. I I wonder how many planets there are gonna be in this game. 
because like this first planet is already taking so long. I do wonder like what, how many more we have? Cause we've already spent like five hours mostly here. It might be this way. <gasps> oh my God, it's a ruby. Does any, is anyone gonna have a revelation because of the ruby? Oh, nobody really... I'll give her... I'll give her the ruby. In the year of the Barbie movie, we stick with the girlies, okay? <laughs> we stick with the girlies. Oh my god, speaking of sticking with the girlies... Every time people say that Portugal isn't that, like, behind and all this shit. Every time something happens to kind of confirm that we're still very much behind in our, like, mentalities and stuff like that. Because, like, um, a new season of Big Brother started, right? And there was this new... Um, so, and one of the contestants was, like, um, because they do a weird thing here where, like, in the first day, everyone gets in, and usually they do like a, it's like a, a live, a live show every like sa uh, every Sunday, and it's usually like a big deal. They call it a gala, so everyone like dresses up, and they watch footage from the week before. But obviously, because it was the first week, we basically see like their opening videos and all this shit. Um, very relevant to the story, I guess, that I'm trying to say, but like. Um, at the end of the night, typically they nominate who they want to go up for elimination. So everyone votes for people who they want to see, you know, potentially get eliminated. And then throughout the week, the fans vote for like who they want to eliminate. Um, so it's a little bit of a different system from like other big brothers, but that's how it works here at least. And so for the first, because they you know they don't know each other and they just basically got there that first night um one of the girlies was like oh because i'm a feminist and i don't know anyone i'm not gonna vote for any of the girls but she made it very like you know but you know once i do know everyone i i'll you know from that point onwards then i'll just vote for whoever i want um and the way that that like little comment was taken to social media like oh she's discriminating against men and feminism is supposed to be like about equality and like um and people and like don't don't take these causes to big brother because that's like not the right place for it. it it's like it's such a weird thing it's like i told like if she literally if she didn't say like that she was a feminist if she just literally said like oh i don't know anyone so i'm just gonna i'm gonna protect the girls and she didn't mention that she was a feminist probably a lot more people would have been like on her side but because she said the word feminist it's like a tr it's almost like a trigger word for like the for like i don't know for like the the wrong crowd i guess and, like, the way that so many people, like, commentators and stuff were, like, she doesn't know what fem feminism is. Or, like, if she can't vote, if she can't vote for the girls, what, what is she doing at Big Brother? And it's, like, she never said that she will never vote for any women on the show. She just said, like, because it's the first day and I don't know anyone, I'm going to spare the girls. And, like, the way that people took that into something that, like really wasn't and even if it was like if, even if she said like i'm a feminist and she did a whole thing like I'm, I'm a feminist and women don't get as many opportunities outside of big brother so like i'm just gonna protect the girls even if she just said that and, and was like i'm never gonna vote for women like what's like so wrong about that if she really wanted to be like i'm gonna stick with the with the women i'm gonna protect the women like what's so wrong about that like I think so many people here are just like not it's like for example there's a gay person on it right but if the gay person was like oh i'm here to you know spread the word about you know the like queer issues and all this stuff then people would automatically be like 
oh this person is coming in they, they usually call it like um like flags like oh they, they like instead of a cause people say like oh people come in with these flags like that they're waving like oh i'm a feminist or like oh i'm a queer person or whatever um and it's like it's it's such a weird thing to be like okay do you want them to just like hide to not like talk about like any issues do like it's, it's it's so it's like such a weird thing it's almost like that vibe of, of that vibe of like oh no politics you know it's like what's so wrong with like because it's almost like people see it as a oh they're using that they're using their identity or like there's they're using their sob story to like garnish votes or whatever and it's like people are you know I don't know, like, I like to support people who support good causes? You know, it's like, it's not, like, that difficult of a concept to, like, okay? grasp, but anyway. People are very against, like, the politically correct as well over here. It's like, they, they, they use the term, like, some, they use the term of, like, someone being politically correct as, like, a bad thing. Um, which usually just means, like, someone trying not to offend anyone usually is the case like someone who's like sensitive with their words and tries to like not be like an asshole is typically like that is typically seen as a bad thing weirdly enough um and so there's almost like this stigma like oh that person is too politically correct so it's almost like they're a bad contestant because they're they don't say what they think even though like that's not what at least in my head like being politically correct is just being like sensitive about like being tactful i guess about like what you're about what you're gonna say you know but people are people are weird i guess is my <laughs> is the takeaway that i that i i guess take from from this I kind of wish it was easier. I don't know about mixing these two. It's not going to be that good. You sure you want to go ahead with these? No. But the Desert Seeker and the Grand Edge. Oh, wait. I could have... I could have checked. Yeah, they're both maxed out. But I guess they're not a good combination. So I guess I'm going to... I'm not gonna do that. That's kind of cool, actually. That the game kind of warned me against doing that. It's kind of neat. Oh, illusion sword. I'll take the illusion sword. So, needless to say, it's very difficult for me to, like keep up with commentary and it's obviously like you know it's it's like i forget sometimes we're in such a bubble whenever like we are on our are on our socials and we're so like curated that like whenever you go into a comment section of something it's like oh god wh who are these people what is this they like, like mindset so is like are we in the 50s like all of a sudden it's like the weirdest type of commentary but it's weird because also it's like these commentators the professional commentators that are hired to talk about the contestants and stuff they some of them also say like one of them literally during the the live show was asked about their opinion which i it's so weird that they have people say their opinions during the live show because it's almost like they're curating the public's opinion through like the commentators because a lot of people are probably going to be influenced by their opinions and this like dude this gay in their like this gay dude in his like 40s maybe maybe not 50s but like probably getting there be like oh um this this girl talking about how women don't get in any oppor don't get as many opportunities outside of like out in real life and stuff like that's no that's not true anymore and all this stuff and it's like i'm sorry do you do you happen to live in a society where that's not true because like Last time I checked, that is unfortunately still very much true. 
Um, but yeah, it's one thing if like, I don't know, if, if feminism was used, if it was like weaponized, right? Because there was a contestant in the past that kind of was like very much like pro sorority and she was like, protect the girls, protect the girls. But then once any women did something that like kind of went against her specifically, she would be like, well, you went, you know, you went against the rules of sorority and because you did this one very particular thing like wrong or you did this one thing that like slighted me um so you know th that's one thing when people kind of like oh no i ran out of healing items already damn i don't know if this is gonna happen i don't know if me I don't know if me dying is not gonna happen in this in this scenario. Oh well <laughs> Well Oh, wait, we can revive. Wait, I wonder if Sorry. reviving automatically... Hold on. I wonder if reviving him is gonna change things. Like, the challenge is not going to be... We're going to lose the challenge no matter what. Yeah, we lost the challenge anyway. <laughs> Girl, we lost. Recharge drink. Don't ever yeah, girl, we lost the challenge. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Whatever. Oh, I guess I. Oh, Perry. I'll get that. Oh, there's more. Oh, lightning. I'll give that to him, because he has less things that he needs to get that. That's going to be my logic. What does that do? Uses a warrior's wisdom to increase the enemy's evasion rate. Huh? Wait, what? He uses a warrior's wisdom to increase the enemy's evasion rate? Isn't that a bad thing? Like, why would we want... ...for the enemy to have a better... ...evasion rate? I wonder if they mean, like... ...we get a better... ...evasion rate, but that, that doesn't... ...sound right. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. If there's a... I hope there's a save point on the way there, because this is going to be... This is going to be bad. Oh, yes. Resurrect her. Work. I love that he said that and then immediately died. He's like, you're not pulling your weight, and then he fucking dies. Typical. Yeah, they're kind of kicking our ass. Oh, there's a shop? 
beautiful. Although, I think we went the wrong way. <laughs> Although, I think it's worth saying that we went the wrong way. But that's fine, you know? We're just exploring. We're just exploring new sites. We're just sightseeing. We're just, um, yeah. That's all. Um, hold, hold on. No! Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Girly, you do your thing. And then, let me do my... Thing. Oh, I need to I need to check in the settings. I need to check the settings to see if there's a way for like whenever you lock on an enemy, the camera locks on them. I wonder if that's a thing. Auto lock on. Yes, that's already a thing. Camera rotation. Battle camera low. No. I kind of wish that was a thing though. Whenever I locked on an enemy, the camera kind of rotated their way. Queen bee stinger. Cause I keep forgetting that that's a thing. Until, like, I'm either done with the battle, or, like, you know, it's no longer, like, relevant, I guess. I also kind of wish that the ability descriptions were always available. A little overwhelming but that's all good because we have a shop here ooh revelation I'll take oh that's not at all that shouldn't at all be a priority but I'll get one of each for the revelations Okay, I need to buy... Okay, we're good on resurrections. We just... What is this? Stamina? Okay. Uh, no, I need... I need heal potions. Really badly. I'm gonna get 30. <laughs> I'm gonna get like 30 of them. And then we have some revelations to do. How nice. Okay, breakthrough... Attack up. I'll get break throw. Oh wait, ew, actually break throw isn't great. I'll just get attack up. Cause I'm sure that's gonna be more useful. Yeah, I think my, that might be more useful. Increases basic attack power. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's great. So I don't think that's a thing that he can use in battle. That's just a thing. Like, his attack is up permanently now, I think. Okay, illusion sword. Okay, nobody can really learn anything. But at least he can get a couple of these, so that's good. He's the one that can get the closest to it, I guess. I don't know if I want to use that there. I'll get I'll use that on here. 
Wait, I don't think anyone else needs that, actually. Yeah, I'll just use that on him. Don't mind me. Just sneezing up. Burning strike. Enables activation of a five hit burning strike attacks. What? Oh, yeah, I already have that. Yes. <laughs> I, yes. Okay. The burning strike is like the, um, whatchamacallit. I forgot the word. Limit break. God. Brain is empty. Okay, we're almost there. Hope there's a save point up there, just in case. Because this, this trek isn't the most easy. Oh, okay, with a, no, no abilities, no nothing. Okay, we got this. Gorgeous. Gorgina. We're not having the best of luck here. It's so cool though, it's just they just spawn, you know? Like it's not a whole a whole thing. Or like there's a new screen and all this shit. I failed every single hit <laughs> that I tried to do at that B, but you know what? At least I uh, am not alone, and uh, the AI is smarter than me in this particular instance. Oh, ew! Uh, no, let me... Oh, God. Not the fucking spiders, Jesus. Oh, no, 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 no. Ugh. Fucking hate it. Fucking hate it. God, kill them with fire. Ew. Oh. Not the fucking spiders. Oh, I hate it. Miri still has been sacrificed, right? <laughs> Those were so big too and so red and vibrant. God, hateful. Finish without taking damage. How's that supposed to work? Oh, I, okay. I made it work. Somehow, I somehow I made it through that. Ooh, safe point. Oh, and the chest. Okay, perfect. This is at the perfect place for me to save. How did our rank decrease even though we got more points? How does that work? Anyway, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna be right back and we're gonna play even more <laughs> Rogue Galaxy after um, this very short break. So grab a snack, grab a drink, you already know the drill, take care of yourselves and when I return you will get more Rogue Galaxy shenanigans. So I'll see you then. Ooh. Welcome on back, y'all. 
thank you so much for being here. Highly appreciate it for this Rogue Galaxy stream. Let's keep on going. We are, I think, right outside the altar, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there is a little chest over there, so don't mind me. Just kidding, can't get it without the Earth Key. <laughs> So my plans have been foiled. Wait, is this a ship? This looks like a Zerardian cruiser. It's probably crashed here while on a tour of the Jurekin wilderness. Day, um, Daytron. Daytron is the galaxy's top spaceship manufacturer. Kind of strange that it crashed. They're famous for their quality. Dagro! Huh? Huh? Ah, uh, what's that? I just found it. Any ideas? Hey, what? Looks like a free shot. It's a gun <laughs> that'll freeze anything it shoots. Not a random. Wonder if it's still usable. Not a random ass. Not a random ass gun. Guess not. There's still some charge left, though. Oh, well. I doubt there's any. Oh, I think there might be, actually. That dude. Yeah. That's a real shame. That dude from earlier, right? Broken freeze shot. That dude in the, in the house. Wait, is this what we're doing? Are we not actually going to the altar? <laughs> is, that, is that not what we're gonna do? Am I just like on a, a random side quest? Maybe this is all related. Maybe I can go for some like reason. I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll see this through. I, I'll go to the... To the dude's house. He said something about like bringing him a gift, right? So surely this will serve as like a little, a little gadget that he can work on, right? That's what I'm thinking at least. That's my logic. Find a path to the altar. And there is a little star here, so hey. This is where I need to be going. It's so funny that we got like a random ass. We got a random ass cutscene. You need my help, huh? Why now? It's a little late for you to be making requests. I don't care one bit about that. I mean, yeah, you can't be kicking people out and then be like, hey, I need your help now. Okay, let's not go the other extreme. Like, only machines are good and only machines could protect you. Do you need something from me? Well, we have a gun <laughs> that's uh, broken. No, nothing really. What? Is that? No, it can't be. I smell a gadget. Where is it? This character design is huh? very. Uncomfortable. That's a rare thing you it feels very shot, like parody, what? Oh, this. Oh. mocking. I don't think I've ever gotten this far in this game somehow. Oh, he broke it further. He broke it fully. Is he gonna hot glue the gun together? I wonder if it's okay. Well, we've got nothing to lose, at least. Hey, can a free shot ice over rivers and stuff like that? That should be a piece of cake. Maybe so. A good model could even freeze a waterfall. Wow, that's cool. 
But why would we want that? Promise me one thing. No using machines for evil. Use them to help people. Don't use them to hurt anyone. And that is my policy. That's sweet. Is it fixed? As he hands me a gun. <laughs> I guess, you know, we can help people with a gun. With a freezy gun, I guess. Did you, did he just point that at him? <laughs> Sir. P not him thawing out in the in the river. Girl. You got to be more careful. Machines are for helping, not for hurting. <laughs> Poor dude. It was a mistake. From now on, watch where you point yeah. Anyway, there you go. Literally, You're don't point guns at people. Period. Uh, but especially, you know, if you don't intend on pulling the trigger, then literally get that out of, you know, sight. Machines aren't bad unless you misuse them. It's the users that makes the difference. I wonder if the chief will ever understand that. Oh, dragon. We have a freezy gun. That's that's the official title, right? That's that's the official name we're giving it. She'll be in trouble if we don't hurry. Yeah, girl, you're the one that went on this whole like detour. Oh, I guess we're freezing over the waterfall? We really owe one to Sherio. But like, how did they get there? If we need like this whole thing, then why did- how did they get there? You know what I mean? Not me thinking I was going faster when I literally just moved the camera. <laughs> Work. The rushing waters of this giant waterfall make it impossible to climb unless the waters could somehow be stopped. I guess we never came here and saw this as a problem. Where's the gun? Oh, there it is. Well, I have a boom boom gun. How does that help exactly? Do I climb the ice? <laughs> like, how does that exactly help? But now it's too slippery to climb. To reach the top, some kind of foothold is necessary. Girl, what now? <laughs> oh, I guess I have the other gun. Where's the other gun? Oh, there you go. I figured that wouldn't just be useful for that one sequence. But the, here's my thing, though. I still, I'm still asking the same question. How did the others get here? Or, like, how did the others get to the top of the thing without this? Like, there must have been another path, right? Because, like, if they found a way to take the girly up there, then there must have been a way for us too, right? Surely I'm not clowning, right? Seems fair enough to me. Oh, a coat? Can we change outfits? Who can, like, wear that? <gasps> Is this gonna help? Oh, it's just... 
<laughs> is that not gonna like cool highly breathable clothing the ample feathering keeps the bugs away oh is it there is there like no is this gonna change my appearance <gasps> oh my god cool oh my god remember when games would give you costume changes without you having to pay extra for it Oh, this is kind of cool. I kind of wish we got it earlier, though. So, you know. I guess that makes sense. It's nice. It's nice that we get to to change our appearance. How cool. Oh, wait. Can I give this to the others? Like, do they... Look at our little crop top. Okay. I wonder if we can... Uh... I wonder if the others can wear this. Ooh, Zegram. I wonder if he can wear the, like, little crop. Oh, no, it says Jaster. <laughs> it says Jaster on it. So that's probably not gonna transfer over to the others, huh? Yeah, okay. I tried. It's a cute outfit, though. I'll, 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 I'll change it. I'll keep it, I mean. It's cute. Look at a slaying. I'm still, like, thinking about how the others got up here without help. <laughs> like... How do they climb? I guess maybe they're more used to it. Maybe they know the land better than we do. And we just couldn't possibly find our way there on our own. So we had to like resort to like cheating or something. I'll go with that. We can go with that. They knew a shortcut. Something about this planet I just don't like. Shut up, I don't care. <laughs> Shut up. You seem to like the women quite a lot in this planet, so all of a sudden there's an issue. Ignore the, you know, the, the potential texture issues. <laughs> Listen, everyone's trying their best, okay? We look so cute. Look at us. Where's Zegram? Oh. Huh? But he was just here. Yeah, he was just here. Girl, what the hell is he plotting? Look at him. What a couple of fools. What are you doing, clown? It's me. We got held up in Jerica. No, I'm fine. Oh, what is he going to betray us? soon enough girl shady I'll call again when I'm done here shady shady Later. he's a perv and he's shady I guess that I guess that tracks <laughs> a shady perv is kind of a, an expected combination I suppose damn one stream ago, I guess, you know, since basically the beginning, I thought he was hot. And now he's just a shady perv. How the tables turn. Oh my god, I guess maybe if the other girlie joins us, we can just be, we can just have the team that I was talking about with like, you know, girlies and Jaster. <laughs> but girlies. You know, that would be cute. You know, most of all, though, I really hope that we can be done and get into, like, another planet or something. <laughs> Just because this one is taking so long. Miri. There's still time. Is there? 
Girly Nar. I thought I told you to stay away. This has nothing to do with you. Leave. Fair. You know, though, don't you? Making this sacrifice won't change anything. Oh. <laughs> Damn. It's already decided. This is the way of the Brokakwa. We can't defy our laws. Something is causing the problem in the village. If we can find the source, we can save the villagers. Please, Lilica, reconsider. Oh, I guess the, the issue came to us. Damn. Stop. If you're not going to protect Miri, I will work. Girl, that's no fucking god. What is that? Ew. Look out. Isn't that the creature that killed their mother? Oh, it's fucking nasty. Gisela. I'm ready. She's like, Mama, I have my pink daggers. Wait, my attacks won't hurt. Oh, something about our attacks can't hurt it? Oh shit, I'm poisoned. Oh, I like that they tell me, like, you're poisoned. Do I have a specific thing for poison? Yes, I do. Oh, it heals everyone? I guess I'll use that. I guess. Ooh, status resistance. That's good. That's. This is not working out for us. What the hell? I thought it was gonna dig a hole or something. Babe, this is no god. <laughs> this is no god sweaty. Oh? Is she a god? <laughs> Work. It's no use. I can't. Mary! I won't let you do it. I don't care how angry the Star God gets. Work. Mary is my sister. Queen. <laughs> that growl. I've heard it before. You've have you not seen it before either? <laughs> Rotten. Nasty. She's putting the pieces together. It was you. Oh, it's revenge time, it babes. It's revenge time. This is the true form of our precious star god. What? That's the conclusion we're taking? You took everyone! Lilica! I won't let you! Oh, she's about... If only you could make its body harder. Oh, I, I, I can. But I can. Hold on. Can, can anyone heal the, the shock? Nope. I guess we can do that. Well, I happen. To have a freeze gun. Is that not gonna work? Oh shit, she's fucking dead. Hold on. <laughs> I 
thanks. <laughs> we just revive her and she's like, thanks. Um, does anyone have any abilities we could potentially use? I was convinced the freeze shot would be the one. Um, hold on. Oh, I did it. Hold on, you do that, I'll heal. Oh, I guess um, Lilica can't do anything else right now. Mm, I'll do f Flash Sword. Oh, that's like fully not working. Oh shit. Oh shit, okay. Okay, <laughs> we, we made it. Oh shit, now we're getting electrocuted. Okay, can someone heal that for me? Um, yeah, I want to try to do something. Illusion sword, I'll do that. We have the thing that heals everyone, right? Heals shocked. Oh, I had that earlier. Oh shit, I don't have that anymore. Oh no, I can't heal any status ailments anymore. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Hey, Ruin. Oh, he went down. Oh shit, she went down now. We're Strugalina. We're fighting this nasty little blob thing. That looks like it's out of fucking, like... I was gonna say Assassin's Creed, that's not the word I wanted. Um, oh my god, what's the other... Uh, it's a, it's an anime. Alchemist, something Alchemist. What the hell is it called? I forget the name. Something about an Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist, there you go. 
Thank you, Ruin. How's it going, Ruin? It's good to see you. Hope you're having a nice day so far. I'm playing some uh, Rogue Galaxy today. It's kind of fun. This section is kind of a... Uh, it's kind of a little bit like... I don't, I don't love it. Oh shit. It's kind of like a... It's a whole like storyline on like... With like indigenous folks and like... A whole commentary on like almost like their culture and like I don't know it's it's a portrayal that I don't particularly like love so there's that oh I guess we're just fully gonna have to let them die because I don't have any healing items oh okay you don't need to die all at the same time you're on your lunch break at work? Work. Not me saying work, work. Rihanna in whenever she released work. Oh, 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 oh. 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 All right. They're fucking gonna die when it, by the time I get up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What's for lunch today? What are you what are you munching on? Popcorn? Ooh. Not trying to be skinty. <laughs> oh my god. That is such a gross looking enemy. I'm gonna have dinner pretty soon. I don't know what exactly. There's soup. Probably can make a sandwich. Not the girly. We worked, we literally, our whole point was defending her. And now this happens. <gasps> the dude that came out of nowhere saved her. Grand. You're here. I'm never leaving your side. From now on, I won't let anyone take you away. I'm like, I'm side-eyeing the age difference. I'm like, sir, <laughs> how old are you? Because that's a child. So, after all that, the star god turned out to be a beast, huh? And that's where all that dark fruit was coming from, too. Kind of gross, if you think about it. I don't get it, though. When did you get here? Because they've believed in this star god for a while, but it seems like the f the deadly fruit is like a semi-recent thing. So I don't against the star god is I don't get that. Therefore, Lilica, we hereby banish you from the village. Not this, not her saving the village and getting Please. banished. There was no star god. It was just a beast. And the dark fruit... Sit down, Pran. But the beast was behind the fruit, too. I said sit down. The chief knows full well. 
But the village needs to believe in the star god. Uh, why? Without the star god, we'll fall into total disorder. Oh, know, this is this is getting culty. In place of Lilica. Damn. Now you will be responsible for protecting our village. <sighs> okay. Take care of the village. And my sister. I will. I guess she's your Lilica. sister now. Not don't be weird. You better see her as a sister. They're gonna protect a little sister. <laughs> Don't be gross. Damn, I guess we're out of here and we have a new friend to come along with us. Hey, it's about time you showed up, Zegram. Where the heck were you when we needed you? Oh, come on. Did you forget why we came here in the first place? Here. Oh, did he get the fruit? What's this? I bet he had this the whole time. All I get after gathering all the fire fruit in this forest. You can thank me any time, folks. Zegram, this is great. <laughs> uh <laughs> Not her lurking behind the tree. Jaster. Lilica. What is it? She's like, do you need a, a pair of tits on the ship? I like to come along too. You are I thought you'd never ask. Master. Queen. If it weren't for you, I would have lost the most precious thing in my life. It's all thanks to you. I want to repay that debt somehow. She's like, I'm kicked out of the village anyway, girl, so I need so I need something to do. You want to travel the galaxy with us? Can I? Wow. Well. His goofy little face. Yeah. <laughs> well, of course you can. Well, off into space together. Please, someone punch him, please. Can't wait for him to officially betray us, and for us to punch him. It's gonna be lovely. <laughs> I don't know if that's fully gonna happen or if he's gonna if he's trying to like play both sides and then like he's gonna betray the the bad guys, I guess. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna trust him too much. understands, Chief. Does she She left the village knowing what she must do. Girl, not y'all lying to the villagers. They're gonna be like, wait, how is she, how is everything fixed and the sacrifice didn't die? Like, I would have so many questions. Girl. Not the hidden homework for Miss Lilica. On that day, I shall leave everything in your hands. You will change the Bokakwa. No, you will change the entire planet. Yes, she will. Queen, Queen Lilica is gonna change the galaxy, bitch. Who run the world? Lilica. <laughs> Absolute. The world's plural, mama. This is gonna be a long She's gonna run them all. Oh my god. We're, we're one step closer to having an all-girl team. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be able to do that because of our protagonist being a man, oh, but you know. The engine's running great now, thanks to you. You know, you're welcome. Oh god, I forgot about this nasty cat. Zerard. Why are we going there? To renew our galactic travel visa. <laughs> not the not the not the travel visa. It's a passport that lets you travel throughout the galaxy. When it expires, you are not allowed I guess even in the future there's going to be some sort of intergalactic 
travel visa. We'll never, we'll never see the end of it. I'm a little embarrassed to say it, but the ship's visa has been expired for quite some time now. Oh, well. That's why we had to avoid docking at the Rosa Spaceport and had to hide in the desert while we scouted. Oh, interesting. Oh, All right, scurvy dogs. We'll speed Not ahead. scurvy dogs. Onward. Nasty cat. <laughs> me, she's me. She's like, huh? Mm -mm. I'm not doing anything formal with this nasty cat. Absolutely not. This meowth wannabe, right? Imagine. Imagine trying to even be a, 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 a little bit of a competition to meowth. One could never. I miss Team Rocket. <laughs> I might watch that like final special season of Pokemon. I think they did like a I don't know how many episodes, but they did like a final special season of Pokemon to basically say bye to Ash and probably Team Rocket. And I I, I might watch it. I might get into it. Ooh, what is is this the next planet we're going to? How are things looking, my dear Norma? Okay, Good. Miss Ma'am. Okay, tits. Okay, Miss Norma. There's a slight problem. Orardi's demanding a higher price for the tablet. Oh, we're looking for a tablet. Two hundred million zen. Oh, is that all? I thought he'd drive a harder bargain than that. Oh, she's mother. Look at her. Yes, ma'am. Goodness, has it really been two years since the first tablet was found? How is the decryption process coming for the code found on the tablet? The analysis is complete. They've moved on to formation. Are they are they hacking tablets? Is that what's happening? So it's all proceeding quite nicely. I'm so excited. I can't wait to find out the results. She said, I can't wait wait to see how this turns out. Queen. The second reads gate. Not person and gate. The gate to Eden shall be open. A little something from the Geo record. All right. Long, both of them will be in our possession. Now who's this? Ooh, which means the day Ooh. Of the <laughs> Emperor is right around. Oh, the she's such a slave. My dear Norma, don't be so rash. I am not worthy of such an honor. I live for her. To go for that, but still, someone like me becoming emperor. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Oh, we're laughing. We're laughing loud. He got into it. He thought he was like, oh, I, that was so funny. I really did that. Oh my god, uh, funniest person alive. This is all new to me, by the way. I've never, I've never even beaten that first world. Like, I feel like I started this game like maybe a handful of times, probably a little less than that. So probably like maybe two or three time, times, and I never got to this planet. So this is like all new to me, and I'm not even that far into the game. So I don't know why I kept restarting, but I don't know. It was a very all or nothing type of mentality, I guess, that I must have had. To be like, oh, I don't know what, what's happening, therefore I have to play the game from scratch. Well, maybe because I wasn't so... Maybe because I wasn't so far into the game, it was probably like, oh, I'll just get... I'll just start from scratch again, you know? But I wonder why I just never continued. That first level is, like, very long. 
So I wonder if that had something to do with it, like the pacing or something. Or maybe I just wasn't good at it. <laughs> maybe I was just bad at the game. I didn't understand it or something. I don't know. It's so nice, right? To like get further into a game that you like started maybe when you were younger and like as an adult you're like, oh my god, I did that. Like beating a game that you, you played as a child but never beat. So satisfying. What a surprise. Can I pick my team? I'll take care of it. Allow me to explain the details of Oh god. What is my mission? Oh. That is what? That's it? That sounds too easy. My instructions are absolutely perfect. Okay. I wouldn't say that. <gasps> Queen. Like to see the most advanced planet in the galaxy with my own eyes. Just a second. Let me come along too. Oh, I guess I don't get to pick my team. I'd make for a great tour guide. Very well then. It's all set. It's up to you. Work. <laughs> there goes my dreams to do having the girlies in the team, so both of them. Are we going to be allowed to use the spaceport with an expired visa? The spaceport by the Galaxy Corporation lets ships dock for a few days even without a valid visa. To get a new visa. We're not the only procrastinators around the galaxy. Work. Beating the Fatal Frame series gave me such a rush. Oh my god, yes. Or like Rule of Rose. Yes. I was so happy to beat that. Oh. The galaxy's most developed planet. It, it's so it's such it's a like an amazing feeling. That's kind of like me when I um when I beat Final Fantasy X for the first time on my own. Or like, um, yeah, that, that's probably the the most memorable one for me. Amazing. It's a bit unsettling. Yeah, I don't think I did it on stream on my own, but you know. Try not to get separated, okay? So where's the Galaxy Corporation? <laughs> not great, E. building across the way. There's plenty of other important spots around here too. All like right, I mean, pretty straightforward. There's also a load of shops around, as well as the Insectron Stadium. You want to take a look around? Oh, sure. Okay. No, that's all right. Uh. This planet has terrible air. Let's get this over with. Oof. Oh, don't say that. Take your time. Enjoy yourselves. She's like, this pollution, mama. Pollution, Let's not for me. Corporation first. Yeah, let's, let's do, let's do our main... Let's get our main objective done first, and then we can be tourists for a little bit. Can I save? I guess that would be too nice. I love that we're, we're being brought to a shop immediately. Oh, you're not the shop. Oh, hello. Oh my god, he's a little shark. Well, a big shark. I didn't mean to talk to you. Old, gen old genie. Oh my god, it's a shark. Baby shark. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Ooh. Strength star. A platinum license. There's like licenses to this. Well, damn. No revelations for me. Pollution is real, I know, right? I can't afford that. <laughs> I I need to buy some shit though. Ooh, fully restores one ally's HP and AP. That's not that's really not expensive. Oh, they only have two? Oh, so it's like a rare item. Work. It's not really expensive. Where have you ever seen an elixir in a game that's like 200? Like, okay. Um, I'll get some tri heals for situations of emergency. I'll I'll sell them out. 
Same with a max heal. Oh, I can't afford all of them. <laughs> Cannot afford that. Great, great. Let me spend all my money here. Can I use any? Ooh, revelation time. Oh yeah, she must have a few. Or not. Oh, there you go. This revelation system is so interesting because you basically get items and then like you use them to unlock like abilities and stuff. So it's almost like you're crafting the abilities. It's a very like interesting, very unique thing. All right. Let's get our visas before we get into trouble. I wonder if we can get... I, we, we probably will get more outfits for people, right? Because we just got a new one for Jaster, so... Surely there's more outfits to be... To be acquired. It's so refreshing getting... I, I talked about this earlier. It's so refreshing... Oh, there's another shop? It's so refreshing to get item... To, like, get... A new outfit... Oh... Oh. Cool. I can't afford any of this. <laughs> I can't afford any of this. Okay. But yeah, it's so refreshing getting like a new costume that isn't like extra paid for and all this shit, you know? I I kind of forgot that was a thing that you know, happened in 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 games before microtransactions became a thing. <laughs> All right, cute. That was nice. Okay, I think I'm going to start wrapping up stream, though, because it's already been, like, three hours. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much for being here, y'all. Highly, highly appreciate it. Let me save again, because I never know if I saved properly. But, yeah, super appreciate you being here for... Uh, some rogue galaxy shenanigans. <laughs>